what's happening, I hope you're all well. So Dillian White, what should his next move be? I probably would have made this video earlier by being busy, so Dillian White, what is he going to be getting up to next? I mean, is he going to retire? Is he going to go for another world title fight? You know, is he going to take some time out and come back? That's what I want to discuss here. Now, should Dillian White retire? In my opinion, no. Dillian White, he lost to Tyson Fury. And Tyson Fury is top two in the heavyweight division. It's probably between him and Alexander Yusek who the best in the division is. So losing to one of the top two in the heavyweight division, in my opinion, doesn't mean you know you're rubbish. You need to retire. You know, call it a day and get out of boxing. Ah, you know, I don't, I don't think Tyson, I don't think Dillian White should retire based on the fact that he lost to a top two fighter. You know, if everyone lost to a top two fighter and retired, you know, it's a bit silly in my opinion. Now the issue with Dillian White is his punch resistance. His punch resistance has decreased. So that actually means that it's, you know, that brings a whole new element to it. Dillian White's punch resistance is not the same as when he fought Anthony Joshua, and it's not the same as when he fought Derek Chisora the first time. So that makes it a bit more complicated. In my opinion, Dillian White should continue. However, if he runs into any, like, real issues with his punch resistance. And I'm not talking about getting dropped by a great punch. I'm not talking about, you know, a great overhand right lands or a great left foot lands or a great straight right hand lands and then he goes on the floor, he gets up. Or even if he loses the fight based on that. I'm talking about, like, say he's fighting, like, Michael Hunter or Huey Fury or something and he gets hit with a half, you know, the, the punch um, half lands and then White's all in all sorts of trouble on the floor. That's what I'm talking about. Dillian White spoke about going for another world title fight. Well, he's not going to fight Anthony Joshua anytime soon. He's not going to fight Alexander Usyk anytime soon. And he's not going to fight Tyson Fury again in a rematch, even though he wants one. So, in my opinion, in my opinion, he needs to maybe have a fight against someone like, um, you know, Travis Kaufman, uh, Razban Gajanu, uh Marius Wack, that, that type, that level, I know he fought Matt Wack already, that type of level, he needs to get a win at that level, which he should do, and then he needs to try and fight some of the other contenders, he needs to try and fight Michael Hunter, he needs to try and fight um, Zilly Zhang, he needs to try and fight Martin Bacoli, he needs to try and fight Sergey Kuzman, he needs to try and fight Joe Joyce, maybe a Parker rematch, um, you know, I hear Derek Chisora, you know, I've actually heard two channels talking about Derek Chisora 3, not interested in that. You know, I've already seen those two fight twice. Although, actually, I thought that Chisora won the first fight and then White obviously won the second. So, a third fight to see, see who's better. You know, I suppose it's not the worst, but at the same time, you know... Uh, I can see. Uh, to be honest with you, perhaps yeah. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not against the third fight. I think that Dillian White needs to, um, you know, go for another world title fight, w work his way. You know, so he needs to fight those opponents. And if he runs into any major punch resistance issues, like I spoke about, then he needs to look at retiring. I think he needs to retire. If he gets, if he gets like put on the floor by like a half landed um, right hand from I don't know um, Michael Hunter or something like that, then he needs to quit. He needs to retire. But I don't think it's it's at that stage yet. His punch resistance has decreased. You know, if I'm looking here, and he's been hurt a lot. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on Dillian White's box threat right now, and I'm looking at, I'm looking at here. Um, Obviously, um, hurt by Tyson Fury, um, knocked out by Tyson Fury, uh, knocked out by Povetkin in the first fight, hurt by Marius Wack, on the floor from Oscar Rivas, uh, on the floor from Joseph Parker, um, Hellenius hurt him with a jab, uh, 
Derek Chisora hurt him in the first fight. Um, Anthony Joshua knocked him out. So he's been hurt a lot and he's been down a lot. All three of his losses are by knockout and all three losses are from uppercuts. So Dillian White needs to address that issue as well. You know, he needs to address that issue. You know, if uppercuts are something that he can't take, then he needs to work on a tight guard. Um, you know, when he got caught, he was very open. He was very open. He was moving. He was moving like this, and it, it, it just didn't look right to me. Um, you know, if you're going to, if opponents know that you're weak to the uppercut, you want to make sure that you're not square on so much. Because Dillian White, he, 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 he changed his style in the fight. He was fine side on before. He was getting outboxed. I mean, I wouldn't say he was losing by a long way. I gave White one round in that fight. But he was losing the fight, in my opinion. So he changed his style up, which, you know, you gotta, you got to risk it sometimes. But he, he became more square on. And when you're square on, you're more vulnerable to the uppercut. Whereas when you're side on, you're not as vulnerable to the uppercut. Um, and Tyson Fury made the adjustment and landed the punch. Now, Dillian White is how old now? How old is Dillian White? It says 35 on box rec, but it says 34 on... It's, I think it said 34 on, in the fight, you know, when the um, stats were up. So 34, 35. Um, I think that at this stage, you know, the punch resistance isn't going to get any better, so the defense needs to get better. If anything, the punch resistance is going to get worse. In my opinion, Dillian White is a solid top 10 fighter, uh, top 5 even. Um, he's got good power, he's got good technical skill, he's got variety. Uh, I'm not going to go like mad and say Dillian White's terrible after one, after just because he lost this fight. He's not. There's fights, there's winnable fights out there for him. Dillian White is a good fighter. His, he has weaknesses, you know, he's got slow feet, he, you know, his balance isn't great, he's got good footwork in the sense he knows what he's supposed to be doing, but he hasn't got the coordination and the balance, so sometimes he throws himself off balance. Also, he throws very wild punches sometimes, I think he throws a little bit in this Tyson Fury fight, for whatever reason Dillian White didn't seem as confident coming into this fight, I've not seen him look so unconfident going into a fight before you know he seemed very he seemed more passive he seemed more um i can't explain it but normally he's very brash very in your face and he seemed a bit more uh in like timid in this build-up i'm not gonna say he was scared but he seemed a bit more timid um so whatever that is that needs to be sorted out maybe because i've spoke about this before maybe it was because he was going up against a, a good fire in tyson fury he thought it was a big challenge maybe Preparations never went great. I don't know. Maybe he got hurt in sparring. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But all I know is he didn't seem as confident. But either way, you know, he's a solid fighter. Um, he's got his weaknesses, punch resistance being one of them now. Um, so he needs to, you know, improve the defense and make one more go of it. I'm not going to say that the guy should quit because he lost against Tyson Fury. That's crazy. Um, you know, I don't know. I mean, I don't. His punch resistance ain't great anymore, but I don't know if it's as terrible as people are making out. Um, you know, I don't think it's as terrible. I don't know if it's as terrible as people are making out. I think if he if he goes and loses again in in a similar fashion, then you know it's an issue. Then you know, like if he goes and gets knocked out by a non puncher by a half landed punch, then you know it's an issue. But can you imagine if fighters they went and got their world title fight, they lost against one of the best in the division, then they quit. You know, if, if fires were doing that, there'd be no division. So I think Dillian White, he can make one more go of it. He can make one more go of it. He's got tools. He's he's a good fighter. And he weren't getting, like, he weren't getting absolutely, like, um, destroyed in that fight. Like, he weren't, no. I thought Fury won the first round. I thought the second round was a draw. I think I gave um, Fury the third, fourth. No, I think I gave, I think I gave um, Fury the third um, and then I gave White the fourth. I gave White one round in that fight, but it wasn't crazy round. He wasn't losing cr the rounds crazy. It was just Tyson Fury was doing a little bit more. Dealing White looked to be chasing the fight a little bit, um, finding it hard to catch up with Fury. 
and Fury was just doing a little bit more. But Fury weren't doing anything amazing in there, to be honest with you. Um, I think that Dillian White, he needs to look at what he did wrong in that fight, um, obviously. This is what I mean. Why, why would he quit when he can look at what went right, look at what went wrong, and try and improve? Why would you want to quit in that situation? The only way that he would quit, the only reason I can see that being a strong argument is because of the punch resistance going down. But at the same time, you know, I don't think it's to the point where he definitely has to quit. I think, in my opinion, he should make one more go of it. And if something happens with regards to the punch resistance, then obviously he can he, he should quit. Um, but Dillian White, I, I think he should continue. I think he should try and go for one more title fight and just see what happens. In my opinion, he's going to be waiting a long time for a title fight. Um, because, you know, there's lots of fighters who are waiting for title fights and lots of fighters who, you know, are trying to get their opportunity. He's in the mix now. He, he's with all of them now. But I think that Dillian White should um, get in the ring sooner rather than later. Not crazy, like, you know, I'll oh, get in the ring next week. He can't anyway. But I think he should get in the ring relatively quick against an opponent, get a, get a win, and then try and face um, one of the contenders who's also looking to get a world title fight. That's pretty much what I think, man. That's pretty much what I think about the situation, um, what Dillian White should do next. Um, I don't think he performed particularly great. I think he fought... I've, I've already discussed this. I think he was thinking too much about what he was trying to do in there. I think that, you know, coming out as a southpaw was a mistake if he wasn't going to stay as a southpaw. I think that um, he was thinking too much about what he was doing. Um doing all this hand movements that I've not seen him like really do before and I think he could have done a bit I think it was it I think it was within him to do better than he did in that fight but I don't think Tyson Fury did great either and I think Dillian White was competitive in that but either way that's what I think what do you think do you think Dillian White what do you think Dillian White's next move should be should he retire should he go for it one more time let me know like the video subscribe to the channel leave a comment and I'll see you on the next video